So with her laying, if she's pushing herself over, rolling this way won't be that hard. You know, she's going to push herself over anyway. But I would have her trying to roll both ways. Each All right, I'm going to help you bend this leg up. Can you bend your right leg up for me? If I want to roll, and a lot of times I'm already showing her, you're going to use this foot underneath it to help. Can you find your left arm? See if you can find it. Hold under the wrist. We're going to roll. On three, I want you to rock. So see if you can bring this arm up. And on three, we're going to go to the right. We're going to roll on your right shoulder. One, two, three. And see if she can roll and hold it. See if you can just hold yourself there and come back. Make her do that ten times. That's really good core work and something that's functional. And then she can come back this way and sit up from there. It'll be a little bit harder for her to sit up this way, and that's good. You know, do the way. If she can, doesn't have any back problems, work on and see if she can bridge a little bit. On three, I want you to see if you pick your hips up. One, two, three. Lift a little bit. And if she can't, then facilitate. Try to, we're going to try to keep them even. Tighten these muscles nice and tall. Come down. If she gets good at it, all right, see if you can bridge up, push up. You can give her a little bit of resistance. Now, I want her to roll, say down the line, she gets good at I want you to roll to your right, push. Now it's more of a PNF pattern, she's doing that diagonal pattern. I'm giving her some proximal resistance. And that's good activity, anything that you can do. I usually always stretch the weak side, the heel forwards or ankles a little bit, just to make sure that they don't get tight, stretch both sides. Um, if the family member's there, Teach them something they can do in the room. Teach them to stretch their heels. Teach them some motion with some rolling. You know, show nursing because you don't ever want a family member or anybody like that to walk in and help pick her up and all of a sudden they dislocate the shoulder or anything like that. And that's the one thing I tell the patient. When they're transferring, if you don't feel comfortable with the person transferring, you make them get help because literally it's your butt on the line. Don't let them come in here and grab your arm. You know, you're your own advocate. Talk to them. Make them aware. If they're more functional um, and can get up more contact guard assist, maybe and then assist, supervision for stuff, and they're getting ready to go home, what kind of education are you going to do for that? Because it's a lot different than right. contractures, pressure right. ulcers. If they're moving around pretty well and you just need somebody for that balance and things like that, okay. I'm usually really reiterating the fact that, all right, they're a big fall risk. You need to be there all the time because if they get up without you, they could fall. You know, just making sure that they're hands-on. But I also teach them how to walk with the patient because if you stand up, more times than not, when somebody's walking, family members will say, oh, I took care of my mom, I know how to do this. And usually you say, okay, well, I'll see you walk with them. They're right. holding yeah. underneath the arm or they're back here. And as soon as I see them do that, I'll say, okay, well, let me show you something and I'll let the patient sit down and I'll let them hold me and I'll say okay what happens if I fall and I get ready to fall and they're just holding my arm and say you're going to really hurt their arm so you know you want to be close enough to them that you have as long as you have control of their hips and their body so if she's walking a little bit and she loses her balance toward me at least I can grab her hips and put my leg out there and I've got her I may not stop her from completely falling but I could slowly lower her down or get a chair or something like that I always go over a floor transfer with every patient. I always say, and nine times out of ten, it's not if they're going to fall, it's when they're going to fall at home, yeah. especially with the neuro patient. You know they're going to go home and they're probably going to fall. 